it's Sarah and I'm back today I'm making more clay tiles for a polymer clay mosaic um, it's going to be in a very positive theme with black clay I started it the other day if you go back and look at my um, previous video you'll see what I'm up to so today I need to add some words. I need more words. So what you want to do is establish a nice stash of tiles so that you can, oh, it looks like, whatever, I'll be fine. So that when you go to put your um, mosaic together, you have a nice selection of tiles. So I need to add words. And I have this stamp. This says, A Quiet Moment of Reflection which I feel like is apropos for this piece. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to try and give some even pressure. Get a nice impression without... So I don't know if I'll... Yeah, I kind of like that. A quiet moment of reflection. I like the whole thing. I have a lot of other words. I have... I want to do another bliss. I have laughter, but I don't know that I need laughter. I think I want inspire for sure. I love that word. So the trick is not to give too much pressure to distort the Im image. This says create. Um, I'm going to do bliss. Let's do cherish. I don't know. Why not? It'll come in handy at some point probably. These are from different stamp sets that I have. Let's see. Uh, I thought I pulled the whole set. Anywho, all right. No, that feels like it went too deep. All right, so then I'm going to take my blade and cut these apart. This is seeming a little bit thick, this this batch of clay. I like it though. I like this one. So I should detach it from the... I like to work on the um, pieces on a separate piece. So hopefully, if you don't, hopefully we won't hear anything go crashing down. It's just easier for me to turn. Now I can't find my blade. Oh, there it is. To turn the piece when it's on this smaller tile. So that looks good. A quiet moment of reflection. Now I'm going to use my mica powders and just bring out that impression. Um, let's see, what color? reflection says blue to me. I have two different color blues so I'm gently going to put this on here. I might add a little green on this fleur de lis, this flourish part there and then I'm going to find my darker blue because I haven't been using it. Is it this is called true blue it's kind of purpley so I think I've just been using the purple but it's definitely in more indigo and if you gently oh boy uh -oh. You're in trouble, Jenny. Go see Joe. My son's dog is here again. James moved back home. And then he's going to get another place. But um, what do I want up there? I'll go back to the light blue. And a little more dark blue.
And I mean, I could have embedded things in here too. But I think I just like it like this. Try to let my finger go down in the nooks and crannies a little bit to touch that part of the O in there. But I think we got a nice impression. I like that. I'm going to bake it like that. I have a couple tiles on here that I have ready to go. I did this love one and the peace sign. They're kind of plain, but I'm going to bake them and see what that looks like. I sh I'll show you some of the ones I baked yesterday, but uh, let's do these two words. When I cut my tiles, I like to just really, I don't spare any clay. I like to only have the image as best I can. So in other words, inspire is what you'll see. You know, I don't want it to be a lot of excess clay. And that way you save on clay too. So let's see. I don't know. It's just a matter of picking colors. Um, I have orange, yellow. I, I'm, I've been using specifically the colors, the seven chakras colors. So this is just yellow, but it tends to be, it looks gold. I'm going to put orange on the other side. These are Perlex powders. Boy, yellow and orange make kind of like a peachy color. So pretty. That's really pretty. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I'm going to go yellow in the center. See, I went much deeper and then orange on the ends. That is super pretty. It kind of looks like golden bronze or something. Golden what? Bronze? I don't know. I like it though. So I'm going to bake those. I actually have letter stamps that I could write my own words and I may do namaste I have laughter and imagine I think I'll do those Let's see imagine will fit here just gently I have a little peace sign I like both of these little peace signs this is just the peace sign itself. With these polymer ta um, stamps, they, you can distort the image, so just pressing gently is the best way to go. This is just another peace sign, but a bit bigger. It has like a brick pattern. So let's see how that looks. I like it. I think I'd like to do that with red and I don't have a red mica powder although one of you guys told me there is a red mica powder. I have this. It's called Blue Russet. I'm going to try it. It's not red but let's go with it and I, I'm going to use my little brush and I'm going to go down into the, the actual peace sign symbol to the symbol and then I'll go around the edges. Oh, I should have cut them out first. Ooh, see, that looks like, I don't know what. It's definitely not red, but it's gorge. I just happen to love color. 
uh-oh, I lost the little peace signy part right there, those two little spots. I'm not loving that. Um, what else? I think I'll go, I like this dark blue. Let's do green. And maybe a third color. Let's put some of the lighter blue on the other. Mm -hmm. Purple. Purple. Yeah, I don't love that one. It's okay. I can just mash up the clay and add it back into the pot and it'll be fine. I'm gonna add a little gold to the outside. So cool. That really looks pretty. Oh, I love it. I love it. I haven't played with my mica powders in a while, so it's fun. It's fun to re-explore, I guess, right? Not, or just uh, come back to it. I don't love this one. So, boop. Yeah, there'll be mica powders in there, but that's okay. It's perfectly fine. I should do another little peace sign. I get really picky when it comes to this. I don't like when they're uneven. I'm gonna put a little gold around the edges of that too. It kind of, I lost my blue, but, um, here we go. It's good enough. I like it. Uh, so what else was I going to do? I think I want to do the Buddha again. Oops. I want to do the Buddha. See, I have these, the heart. I don't know that I love that. It could be cool. This peace sign, it's very shallow. It's not a deeply etched stamp. So, for the most part, I'm going to repeat a lot of the ones that I've done. I guess laughter could be awesome to do, right? Let me put that in here. But I want to do the Buddha. And I think I want to do them a little differently because originally he's um, a big square. So he's shaped like this. And I did the whole thing, like on my original piece. I love it. But I could do it because it's not going to fit on my, on my, um, the, the frame that I picked out for him. It wouldn't fit because it's just not wide enough so I'm gonna I'm gonna alter it a little bit and see if I can use it I'm sure I can you know it's this clay today that I'm using I think it's on a different setting than yesterday like a lot of my tiles from yesterday seem much thinner than that so It'll be, it'll be nice when I get it together. So look at that. That's so cool. All right. Let's put some colors. What haven't I used? The red. Because I only have my Inca gold, but I'll put some red. Let's just, it's, it's actually like kind of a more of a, it's not a true red. 
and someone said in the comments that they prefer like after seeing me use this that they it actually made them like the mica powders better and I agree I feel like the mica powders are more silky and they look silkier this looks waxy and so it's just a different look it doesn't make it right or wrong you know um, but there is a difference and they're also a little harder to work with like you know all those things I need more baby wipes um, it's personal preference it's it's ease of use there's a lot of things to consider um, but I do have quite a few of the rubs I actually pulled my so I'll you know what I'll do I'll put some of this gold I have Grecian gold and gold leaf I'm gonna use this is but rub and buff and you can get these too at the craft stores um, so let's just add this this whole piece will be done with oh that's not moving haven't used them in a while so pretty though the metallic nature of oh, this is much smoother though that's gorge I really don't want to I think I have like a turquoise I have silver silver ebony ebony huh I wonder why I got the ebony let's do silver not my favorite I just think the mica powders would have looked so much prettier but it is what it is and it definitely makes the word pop which is the main what's the point right now I just had a okay whatever um, so let's do the Buddha I take this And I'm just going to cut it down so that it will fit on the frame. I'll show you what I mean. I'm trying to give it even pressure so that I get an even impression, obviously. Some, sometimes I get it deeper on one side. It kind of looks weird. I don't like that look. I like it to be even. So hopefully... nice now what I loved about this stamp is there's little dot details around this halo and I filled those with seed beads but because what I I'm going to show you I have this frame this is what I'm going to make this mosaic on the stamp is wider than the frame if I do that and I don't want it to hang over Actually, someone asked me, could I let my tiles hang over? Sure, let your tiles hang over. I don't personally like that look. But, I mean, nothing's stopping you if you if you want to do that. Um, so I'm going to cut the, t the piece and see what it looks like. So we'll see. And I think it'll be okay. I'm going to go with... This little feet aren't as embedded. There's not a lot of definition down here. I might want to restamp. I'm going to restamp it. I'll be right back. All right. I'm going to do it. This is the original one, and I love this one. How I embedded all those beads around the edge just really helped it. I don't know. It was cool. But I think I can make him look cool, too. So I had used, I guess it was like a bronze color for the skin tone. Um, let's see. This is kind of a really deep, let's see what this says. Sometimes I can't see. 
it's just a gold but I kind of like it and then I have this one I have so many different golds but I'm gonna try this one and do this for his skin tone I think I'm gonna use a brush and gently just what try and wisp it over the edge I think there's a little, I could have put a little bead on his head, but it's actually super tiny. So I don't think I'm going to mess with that. I don't want to distort his features. I really think he's handsome the way he is. Um, I love the blue background. I think I'm going to do some white up here. Um, let's see. And I'm just using a brush and I'm going to try and go very gently over the surface this way. But if it gets in the nooks and crannies, it's not that big a deal because um, you can still see the definition. It's kind of cloudy up there, so I'm just using that. Isn't that cool? And then I definitely got to put blue in the sky. I'll do some light blue. It's like painting with mica powder, so it's so fun. Um, for me it is. You might not find it as fun. And then I could even put some green down here. Why not? and make it look like land. I think I'm going to do that. I want to put some dark blue right here. Kind of blend it out. And then some green here. Nice, right? OMG. You know, I say OMG so much. Maya's brother, Jaden, came over, and by the end of the day, he was saying OMG. That's how much I say it. I mean, it's not the worst thing he could have picked up, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. funny how we tend to pick up on different things. Alright, so now, what color for his... Isn't that cool? OMG. I say OMG. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. It's so cool. Put a little more white up here. And then I think I will just embed a few, but guess what? It's going to mess with the, the, if I, mm, I'm going to try it, but what I'm saying is it's going to distort the clay if I push too hard or whatever, but let's try it. I may be able to straighten it out. So it, I should probably have done this before I cut it down, but I didn't know. Maybe I won't do it, but I really want to. Ugh. And I did them in red. I don't even know if they're going to show up. See how it distorts the clay? See this right now? I'm like meditating right now. This is so zen for me. <laughs> I'm in such a, like, it's awesome. I can't explain it. I think I might, oh no, it's in. Then I'm going to put, so I could fit another bead, but I don't want to distort the clay too much. So what color should his outfit be? 
See, there's a little bit more of that here, of this part down here. Um, on here is outfits green, and I really like that, but I put the green here. So we're going to go with, like, um, maybe the purple. I love that purple so much. I think I'm going to do it. It's called lavender, I think, but man, it's it seems like it has like a, a shift in it or something. Like it kind of looks blue at times. It looks more purple at times. It's super cute, super nice. Love. I think I'm just going to put gold around the edges. That is so cool, you guys. Come on. And it really shouldn't adhere where I've already put mica powders, but sometimes it gets on there and that's okay with me. That's adorable. I, I'm not, that doesn't make me sad. I like it a lot. Oh boy. That is so cool. Okay. Just moving them to the tile that I'm going to put in the oven. Wow. Wasn't that amazing? I want to do peace and love. So I just need some more clay. So here's the difference. And at the time I made him, I probably didn't have a ton of mica powder colors. So maybe I just didn't have as many options, but, and I just went, but this, like, I'm just, ah, uh, that's going to be so amazing. I love it so much. I think I should do a big one like this again with all the beads and, um, color it like this. I think I'm going to, I'll do it out off camera. Um. So yeah, let me do the, this piece and this love, and then I'll let you go. I'm going to continue making tiles, guys. I'm going to make them until I feel like I have enough to complete a mosaic. And then, I know I'm zoomed in, I'm sorry. I will come back the next time I film. I will do kind of how to prep the surface, maybe, just a reminder. And then we'll start laying in um, our mosaic. So let me go with peace, even pressure, and love. And these were probably in the dollar spot at Michael's from years ago. So cute. OMG. Sorry, I said OMG again. Now you have to release it from, oops, there's like fluff on there. I'll get it in a minute. Release it from the tile. And then I'll cut it down. Uh, let's go. This was another one that I really like too. I mean, it's kind of big, but I think I might redo one of these. That's a lot of beads. I don't think, well, yeah. No, I think I put a bead in like every other spot on that one. But I loved how I did these um, feathers because I put the beads in. So it's, I'm trying to keep it very minimal. 
like none of these actually the ones I made today have any embedding except for him that's the first one I did with any beads in it so I'm trying to keep it really really simple but like look at these these have little on the flowers I definitely have to put like a little bead in there just to make it pop so let's do love And I'll repeat a lot of these too because I have another, I have a cradle board for a um, substrate that I want to use. So I will definitely um, make doubles of some of these, but I don't need to do them on camera. Let me, um, I'm going to put these on here. I just think they're easier to see. I don't know, for, for filming. I'm going to put it on this little tile. Hmm. So let me zoom in. And let's paint with mica powders, basically, right? I'm going to put, well, when I embed things, I like to do that before I add the mica powders because they're, they're very slippery. They're shiny and slippery. They're metallic. But see, there's a little heart right here that's in the pattern, and there's a heart over here. Um, and then I'm just going to put some beads in the centers of the flowers. So let me do, I'm going to do a gold. What do I have? I have this, I have a gold for sure. I'm going to put a gold in the center of this guy. And I'm going to use a Swarovski crystal. I have these little tiny ones, and I get these on clearance. A lot of them I do. Not all of them. Sometimes I go purposely and buy a specific color. But for the most part, they're from clearance. So let's see what color this one is. A big red one. I like that. I'm going to put him there. Just use a pencil eraser. The reason I like um, the Swarovski crystals, they tend to be glass. They're good quality. They're not going to melt. Um, they're a little more expensive, so that's why I, I like to get them on sale if I can. Um, oopsie. Uh, so, you know, use what you have. But those little plastic like ones that you would get for um, the flatbacks that you use for paper crafting. I wouldn't trust those, so maybe you could glue those on after you bake the clay. I wouldn't embed them into the clay because I mean they made they made a stort. That's all. It's just a precaution. So you know, just use common sense. If you put all this work into it, and then your bead melts, it's just kind of a shame. I've thrown away lots of tiles. It's fine. Like I, I'm a waster. I don't get worked up over it, but if you have limited supplies, don't don't melt your rhinestones, right? Put a red one here. And then a little orange one here. I did orange already, didn't I? The yellow. I need a little yellow. And then the clay kind of grabs onto them, so they stay put pretty well. Now there's a heart here, and you know what I'm tempted to do? Is after it's, because um, I have one of these, and I'll show you what I, oh, it's on here. I actually embedded a heart spacer bead. And I definitely coated this with some type of sealer, but I'm going to look into the proper sealer for, um, for polymer clay and I'm gonna get some I don't have anything that's specific for polymer clay so I'm assuming this would be something that I would use on a wood painting project oh there's my face hello um, 
you know, but I, I don't want to lead you guys in the wrong direction, so I want to make sure I'm going to find out what is the proper um, thing to use. Anyway, and then I have peace on here somewhere, don't I? Do I have peace? No, I just used love on this one. So I put, but see how I put the little gems? I put a flower in the middle of that one. But it says love, but I'm going to put, I'm not going to put a gem or a, I don't have a metal heart. I wish I did. I wish I had like a, hmm. Otherwise, I could just use stickles or something like that. But I think I'm just going to go over it with mica powders now and just see what I get. So let's go. I'm going to go with, see, there's a heart here too. There's a heart for the piece. And I don't have, I don't think I do. Actually, that's a lie. I'll be right back. I'm going to, all right. So I have bead findings. And I think I see in here, I have lots of flower shapes, but I definitely saw a heart. It looked really tiny, but let me see if it would look decent. It's super thick, and it may, I don't know, I wish I just had a thin one. I have butterflies. Um, you know, it's kind of strange that I don't have a lot of hearts because a heart, oh, here's that other kind. This is the other one. Maybe I'll, oops, maybe I'll do this one. I don't think it needs it for sure, but it could be cute. I think the heart on the love might be cute. I think I'm going to do it. It's done. I did it. Um, and maybe this one here. I don't think I need it. I don't love it. I like to love it before I do it. So yeah, but it's funny. I don't have a ton of heart-shaped metal bindings. I have lots and lots of flowers. This is a cool flower. I'll leave it here because I know I'm not zoomed in. Like this as a spacer. I mean, not all of them would look as good embedded in the clay, but lots of flower shapes end caps, butterflies. It's so funny. Um, this butterfly is super cool. So maybe I'll embed that. All right. And then I have ladybugs. I have a lot of other, let's see what's in here. Oh, I have stars. See, here's a heart, but I don't, I can't be sure. Oh, look at this. That's a little bit big. I'll show you when I zoom in. They're a little big. But I knew I had them. I have a bird. I have lots of keys. And butterflies. This heart's a little... And flowers. And then you can, like... So basically it would be a charm, right? Oh, these flowers are super cute. This is really, really cute. I like that. And then this piece is going somewhere. I saw this, that I want to repeat. I don't like the moon and star thing. I wish I had a pretty moon and star charm because I would use that. Um, and it's to each his own. Like you, if you like it, use it. But sometimes it just doesn't appeal. I have birds, owls a skull. All right, I think that's good. I don't want to, oh, here's a ladybug. Turtles. All right. I already put this one in, which I'm happy with because I don't think it distracts from the L too much. This one, I don't think I need one. I think it's fine. This is definitely going somewhere because I saw this on another piece and I really liked it. It went right in the center. I don't know where now, but I will figure it out. Um, these hearts, I would just break off this little bale and use that. But like this butterfly could just get embedded and be a, a tile all on its own. So I'll probably do that. These flower um, bead findings, it's a spacer bead, are super cute. And these flowers are definitely cute. Like I could have just embedded this whole thing in that 
area but I like that I'm going to just use it um, staying in the theme staying in the mode of what I've been doing painting with these mica powders I think this is going to look pretty so let's go with with this see I should be putting red right here I'm so frustrated that I don't have a red mica powder um, someone told me they have them I just don't have one so all I have is that uh, See, I could just put, I wish I had a red crystal, but I wouldn't trust, I have, probably do have red um, flatbacks that are for my crafting, for paper crafting, but I, I don't trust them on here, so. I, you know what, I could just do, put stickles on that after the fact. After it's baked, I'll put stickles in there. That'll be beautiful. All right, so let's just paint with, this is what I used for my Buddha. Um... What color flowers? Maybe all the flowers will be white? No. Purple. You know they have to be purple. I love this purple. I'm going to make them all the same color. I don't know. I think we'll do the love all the same and we'll see what it looks like. And this has, this is kind of cool. If I do it with my finger, it'll pick up. See how it picked up the inside little one? So cool. Oh no, I messed it up. It's alright. Uh, what should I do the love with? Maybe white and then go gold? I don't know. I wish I had red. I could do pink. This is flamingo pink. You know what I'll do is that pink gold. I love, there's a certain color. This is kind of salmon-y. Yeah, that's salmon. Um... silver. Here it is. This is called pink gold. I'm going to use that. And do what I hoped. It looks, it looks like pink gold. <laughs> and then let's put green around the edges because it's kind of foliagey. This is called spring green and it's so bright and pretty. And I love it. I think that's good. I like it. I'm not hating. And I think I'm going to use the pink gold for the flowers this time then. Maybe. Just pink. I'm just going to use flamingo pink. I love it. And I'm sorry. It's not one of the chakra colors. I don't know what they were thinking when they didn't make pink a chakra color. <laughs> I happen to love pink. It's just it's such a pretty color. I could do them all different. And then I feel like peace is a light blue color. I don't know why. And that heart, I'm gonna try not I'm gonna try and just do it with stickles. I 
really need a tiny bit of this stuff. It really, really goes a long way. I've had these forever, and I, I don't think I'll ever run out. And that's the thing, too, about the paste. They, they seem like they dry out. They're not, like, as hardy as the mica powders. I'm going to put a little bit of the darker blue on top because it just didn't feel like it. Oh, now I got it on the heart. Nice. Very nice. So that's what I'm going to... Oh, man, guys, come on. This is going to be such a gorgeous piece. I'm very, very, very happy with it. So I'm going to do oops, more. And I'll be back maybe later on. I'll have to prep the uh, substrate, my frame. And um, then I can start playing with placement. So this is what I have so far. These look super plain. So when I make another one of them, I'm going to add more colors. Keeping it with one color isn't working for me now after using all those colors. Come on. <clears throat> all right, you guys. So don't forget your words <clears throat> to embed things in the clay. And just have fun. All right? And thanks for watching.